we are to be here today. It is such a blessed Sabbath. And uh, to see you all out there, thank you for coming and being here. Uh, Today is the day that we worship our God and our Savior. And today we have a lot of reason to be thankful. Starting on this journey, when a church goes through a transition, it's not always easy. But I'm thankful this church approached it in a way that said, all we want is God's will. And so we decided that through prayer, we were going to approach it and say, okay, God, you bring the right person to this church. We don't know who that is, but we know you do. And we started um, accepting, you know, um, applications, if you want to say it that way. Um, we, we began interviewing pastors. And uh, I will say, God brought a lot of amazing people. Um, and as the search committee kept meeting and kept praying, um, if you want to say it, you know, the fleece was put out. And God made it very clear. And today we celebrate the blessing of what God brought to this pastoral search committee. And through this incredible support of the conference, um, through this process, they supported it, they um, helped us, they provided um, opportunities for us, um, they were very supportive through the whole process, and, um, and patient with us. Um, you know, sometimes I think you want um, things to happen very quickly, um, but one thing that this church did not want was to things to happen quickly, we wanted it to happen Right. And um, so I, I want to take a moment now to introduce to you um, Elder Samuel Lee, um, who is the regional director for the Asia Pacific region of the Southern California Conference, to share a little more with you on where we are today. Thank you, Greg. Welcome, all of you, to Sabbath Worship Morning. And I am so pleased to introduce new pastor for us. And as Greg uh, told us, we met so many times. Last six months, I really appreciate the congregation and the leadership uh, doing the ministry without pastor. And I really appreciate especially his leadership as a head elder and chairman of the search committee. all through this, this month. And whenever uh, I met with the search committee uh, members uh, searching the new pastor, I just wondered, are we going to have a pastor at all? Because uh, as you may know, we interviewed many pastors So many months passed, somewhere, out of nowhere, we have a pastor. And suddenly, he began to be uh, recognized among us. We talked a lot about him. And here I see the hand of God's providence leading through his Holy Spirit to this moment. So I'm so proud of Asian Pacific region to invite the Michael Johnson to be a pastor of one of our historic churches in our region. You know, this church started 1888. It's a very historical moment, historical church. And this may be the only moment that you may notice the history of the Pastor Johnson, his education, and his ministry. Because you may know while he is doing the ministry as senior pastor, nobody would ask him, what is your education, what is your degree, what is your pastor, the the past history, all these things. So I'd like to 
introduce a little bit of his history of his ministry. Well, uh, before I begin those introduction, I like this person because he is a man of passion. Passion for ministry, passion for evangelism, and most of all, passion for Jesus. We're so glad to have him uh, with us. Well, his education, according to the resume, he graduated George Washington High School, 1977 and quite a young man, and graduated the Greek University, Associate of Art in work of, the, work of Evangelism and the work of the Bible instructor. And also, California Contract State License School. He has been a general contractor. And he graduated University of Phoenix as an Associate of Art in Business Management, and he graduated in Church Leadership from Oakwood University, and he is going to be graduated soon. So soon, Andrews University, the Master of Art in Practical Pastoral Ministry. You may not need the introduction of his past ministry, full of passion, full of fruit. And I would like to summarize this way. He held so many uh, discipleship training sessions, including church-sponsored ones in many occasions. And he has also experience with uh, with, uh, other regions as As a pastoral ministry, he has been doing faithfully. And also, he held so many times his own evangelistic meetings, so many times. Well, we cannot estimate the fruit and the result out of those uh, sessions. But I can say, maybe we can estimate Total membership trained by him is about 1,000 members. And total known baptisms recorded from members and churches trained over 150, 1,500 baptisms. Praise God. Praise God. You know, uh, during the interview, I've been acquainted with him, and I found out he is not extrovert. We all may expect such a speaker, such a person in public, we expect to be an extrovert. But Amazing. He was very introvert, <laughs> like myself, <laughs> like Moses. <laughs> and God used him. God is using him. God will use him in an extraordinary way, according to his power and grace, according to he has given to him the talent. So I expect and hope and pray that God will continue to use him, bless not only this congregation, but bless the community, bless the whole our region, and bless the churches through his ministry. This time, I'd like to invite his, his better half, Denise, would you come up here?
Um, they have uh, three daughters, one son, and I thank you for uh, having uh, available today two daughters we are expecting here. Um, this time, I'd like to invite uh, Summer and uh, Lakima, if you are here. They are on the way. So you will see uh, in the potluck time or other time, you will meet the pastoral family. Okay, this time also, uh, we are going to have uh, the reading, specially prepared for this occasion. We call litany reading. Uh, you will see on the PowerPoint, and some others will have the, the paper here. Before we do that, um, the Greg will officially welcome the, the pastor. Ah, this is a great pleasure. I will say, when we first approached Elder Lee um, with the decision of the search committee, his first question was, really? It wasn't what he expected, but it wasn't what any of us expected because God doesn't always work the way we expect. So on behalf of the Pasadena Seventh-day Adventist Church, it is with great pleasure that I, um, I welcome you, Pastor Johnson and Mrs. Johnson, to um, be the shepherd of this congregation, to guide, to, guide, to um, strengthen us in our walk with God, and just to continue to lead us towards the throne of grace. Welcome. Um, if you will, up, you can see up, up at the top there, we're going to have this um, reading. Um, there are parts where you will be speaking as well, and I will lead you in your parts. Um, so when you see congregation, that's all of you. Please speak loudly and clearly as we enjoy this moment. We come on this day to open a new chapter in the history of our church, the beginning of a new pastorate. We, we have received gifts from God, who has equipped us for ministry and provided a new pastor to lead, train, and encourage us. We come seeking to serve you in lifting up Jesus Christ, that together we might grow. We invite you to lead us in our walk with God. We seek your love as we become part of this church family. We wish to have you as part of our family, and we open our hearts to you. God has given to you the challenge of leading these people in their preparation for the soon coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. I accept this challenge. Under God, I pledge to do my best always to lift him up. As a church, you face the challenge of presenting the gospel to your community. We accept, we accept this challenge to present, to present the living Christ through our lives and our through ministries. our ministries. We, we covenant, covenant before, before Christ, Christ and each other this, this day to place Christ first, to seek the guidance of His Spirit, and to work together for the hastening of His coming. I would like to invite all the elders, please, to come forward, actually, and I would like to invite um, some of our ladies to present some gifts. Well, we surround the pastor, and uh, I would like to invite all the congregation to kneel down together for prayer. Mm-hmm. 
our Father in heaven, thank you for Jesus Christ, who is our God, our Savior, our Creator, our Sustainer, the origin of all blessings. You provide this very special moment the moment of installation of new pastor for Pasadena Church. I pray that Holy Spirit may unction on him, that he may be set apart as your special agent, agent of power, agent of salvation, agents of healing, an agent of soul winning, that he may be guided through the Holy Spirit, uplifting Jesus, winning souls into his kingdom. And I pray that you bless his wife and his families. As they continue doing ministry, provide all the means so that they are free to serve you and serve your people. Also bless your congregation here in Pasadena and all the friends and the families together and the visitors as we celebrate this occasion as we hope and pray that Holy Spirit is infilling him, his wife, family, and all of us to fulfill the commission you have given to us. Preach the gospel throughout the world before you coming again. And when you come again soon, we would like to appear in front of you not only of us, but all the souls you've given to us. I pray that you may be assigning your servant Michael Johnson as a tool, as an agent in your hand to train, to giving Bible study, to win souls healing and recovering so that many, many souls are going to be worn into this church and eventually into your kingdom so that we, all of us, will meet glorious face about Jesus Christ when he returns soon. Lord, I commit this your servant into your hand because I believe your hand is full of power and full of grace. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. As one last gift, Pastor Johnson, we wanted to provide you with the minister's Bible with your name on it as just a token from the Pasadena Seventh-day Adventist Church of welcoming you to our church. Thank you so much.